behind Melissa Maker, an accidental cleaning expert, and yes, the name behind Makers Clean. And in this video, I am gonna show you how to make your very own DIY tub scrub. This stuff is amazing and it costs, I don't know, five, 10 cents to make. It works every time. It's super easy. You're gonna love it. So let's do it. To make this recipe, just get a bowl and you're going to add equal parts baking soda and dish soap. So here I have about a tablespoon of each and then I'm adding in some drops of orange essential oil. This is totally optional, but very nice. Now you're gonna stir it up. You wanna get it to what I call a pudding-like consistency. And once that's ready, you're gonna move it over to your tub and wet your sponge really well. Now a wet sponge is key because a dry sponge is not going to spread the product around the way you need it to. Your sponge should be almost dripping wet. You're going to apply it with the soft side of the sponge. You can see I'm just working my way up and down. You wanna see this product foaming. You can't, I can't really pick it up here on the camera, but it should be sort of foaming for you. And if it's not foaming, add more water. Now a pro tip is to take your bath rug and fold it up placing it under your knees. That way you have a bit of support when you're doing the scrubbing. And I'm using the same technique, just working section by section, top to bottom, using an S pattern. Now I've let this sit for a couple of minutes. My tub did not have a lot of soap scum, but if you have a tub that does have a lot of soap scum, you might wanna let this sit for, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes. The scrubbing part is really important. I'm using the scrubby side of a non-scratch sponge here in my fiberglass tub. And a little trick you can use to see if all the soap scum is gone is to take your hand and just rub it against the surface. If you feel any friction, there's still soap scum. If it feels smooth, you've done your job. Now it's time to rinse. So I'm using the handheld shower here to give my tub a really good rinse. I'm not even using hot water. I'm just using cold water and going for it. I'm working my way around the tub. The important part here is you want to get rid of the grittiness from the baking soda and any of the residue left behind from the soap. Now is one of the most important parts and that is drying your tub. Here I'm using the Maker's Clean Duo Cloth, which is a thick and thirsty cloth that's quite large, meaning it can pick up a lot of the moisture, actually all of the moisture that's left behind, so that way there won't be residue or there won't be any excess moisture, which will then dry on and leave spots on the tub. So that is a very simple DIY tub scrub to deal with pesky soap scum. But if you never want to deal with soap scum, I've got an even easier suggestion for you. Every time you get out of the shower or the bath, quickly give it a rinse and then take a thick, thirsty cloth like our duo cloth and dry the tub. This extra step takes 20 seconds to do, but what happens is you're rinsing the tub, getting rid of any oily residue from your body or your products, and you will then dry the tub using this duo cloth. The thick, thirsty fibers will pick up any excess moisture, making sure that soap scum will never have the chance to even form. So by doing this extra step, you will save yourself from ever having to scrub your tub again. Doesn't that sound nice? If you like DIY cleaning recipes, you can check out this playlist. I've got tons more there for you. And if you wanna learn more about that duo cloth or any of our other products, you can check out makersclean.com. I've got a link for you down below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Makers Clean channel so you can always be up to date on our latest videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.